Our story takes place in Trifo Prasso, a vibrant town somewhere in the central region of Ghana. It is the hometown of the Okopo family. Here we see the mother. The father enjoying himself in a lazy chair. Ajoa, the oldest sister. One of the small boys practicing his soccer skills. And this is Fortune. She is on her way to the market. The young girl goes there every day after school to help out her family with the market business. One day Fortune and her mother go together on a journey to Cape Coast. As Fortune gets her measurements taken for a new school uniform, she comes in contact with Cecilia, who is working as an insurance agent at the Kotokraba market. Fortune's curiosity sparks as Cecilia explains the benefits of microinsurance. She wants to know what this insurance thing is all about and so Cecilia invites the girl to come along on a round through the market. On their way, they meet some of Cecilia's clients, like Baba the Butcher and the old lady selling fish who has recently lost her husband. On that round, Fortune learns what a premium is and how a payout works. When Fortune reunites with her mother, she is excited to tell her what she has learned about insurance. The mother is interested and so back home the two women raise the topic in front of the father. But he doesn't want to listen at all. He is full of prejudices and harshly rejects the idea. As tragedy strikes, a few weeks later, the family is confronted with a severe crisis. A fire burns down great parts of the local market, including the Okofu's family shop. And with the shop, everything the family owned has burned to ashes. So what will happen now? Insurance is the best policy for every human being. And why are you saying it's the best policy for every human being? Fine. In case I'm the, I'm the head of the family, yeah. if I'm not alive, insurance can cover my family.